gas flaring globally resulted in the direct release of 270 million metric tons mountain of CO2 and nearly 8 mount of methane 240 mount CO2 EQ into the atmosphere in 2021. This flaring is a waste of economic value, amounting to as much as 55 billion United States dollars per year at a price of 10 United States dollars per million British thermal units (MBTU). Five countries, namely Russia, Iraq, Iran, the United States, and Venezuela, accounted for more than half of all the volumes flared globally in 2021. According to World Bank data to provide international comparisons gas flaring volumes in 2014 to 2021, five countries that shows the most increase is Syria, 168%, Libya, 107%, Argentina, 68%, Iran, 42%, and Russia, 39%. In this video we try to discuss the different aspects of gas flaring and how to reduce it. If you want to be notified of new videos, please subscribe and click on the bell. The flare system is used in many oil and gas wells production and operation sites to protect it from overpressure hazards in installations. During the extraction of crude oil, the gas accompanying this oil also reaches the surface. In areas where there is no proper plumbing or gas transfer, large amounts of this associated gas are burned. Globally, 144 BCM of natural gas was flared in 2021 roughly equivalent to the total volume of natural gas imported into Germany, France and the Netherlands. Reducing flaring and bringing the captured gas to the market could provide relief to tight gas markets and potentially offer a faster solution than investing in new supply. The elimination of non-emergency flaring globally by 2030 is leading to a reduction in flared volumes of around 90% by 2030. Gas flaring worldwide decreased by 3% in 2022, reaching the lowest level since 2010, with a total volume of 139 billion cubic meters BCM, compared to 144 BCM in 2021. There are some technologies aimed to reduce or eliminate gas flaring in the oil production process. These include on-site direct use or energy conversion. Instead of flaring the gas, it is captured and utilized on-site to generate electricity or produce other usable products. This can help meet the energy needs of the oil production facilities or be sold back to the electricity grid. Portable compressed natural gas CNG, or mini-liquefied natural gas LNG, facilities Gas is compressed or liquefied at the wellhead and transported via trucks to nearby locations for use as fuel or processing at gas facilities. Small-scale gas to methanol or gas to liquids conversion plants. This is the conversion into methanol or other liquid products through catalytic processes. Reinjection for disposal or storage. Gas can be reinjected into underground formations for storage or to maintain pressure in the oil field. Additionally, there are technologies and maintenance practices aimed at improving the efficiency of existing flares. These include using modern flare tip designs or converting to flare stacks that ensure proper fuel air mixing and achieve high combustion efficiencies. These improvements help to minimize emissions resulting from poor combustion efficiency during flaring. Implementing these activities and technologies can contribute to the reduction or elimination of gas flaring in the oil production process leading to environmental benefits and potential economic value from utilizing the captured gas. There are several countries that have implemented policies to reduce flaring and improve environmental outcomes in the oil and gas industry. Here are the key points regarding each country. Norway. Norway was among the first countries to introduce regulations mandating gas metering and imposing taxes on flaring-related CO2 emissions. These policies have been effective leading to a reduction of more than 80% in flaring emissions since the mid-1990s. Colombia. Colombia has made significant progress in reducing flaring intensity and volumes. Between 2015 and 2021, the country managed to cut its flaring intensity by approximately 50% and reduce flared volumes by 70% since 2012. This accomplishment is attributed to a focus on emission reductions, the establishment and empowerment of the National Hydrocarbon Agency ANH, and efforts by Ecopetrol to redirect gas volumes towards the domestic market.
United States. While further regulation and enforcement are necessary across more producer states, progress has been made in some regions. Colorado and New Mexico, alongside Alaska, have implemented bans on routine flaring. Let's see how much $50 billion is worth. Burj Khalifa, Dubai. The construction of the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, cost approximately $1.5 billion. Completed in 2010, Large Hadron Collider, LHC, between Switzerland and Frank. The world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, cost around $9 billion. Completed in 2008, the Three Gorges Dam, one of the largest hydroelectric power stations in the world, had an estimated cost of $37 billion. Completed in 2012, Ford Motor Company, in 2021, its market capitalization was around $55 billion. General Motors, had a market capitalization of around $57 billion in 2021.